I'm Klaus Mochalski, founder and CEO of Rebo. In today's episode, I want to talk about attack vectors in IEC 61850 infrastructures. In our last video, I already mentioned the cyber risk in general for such infrastructures. Today, we want to specifically look at attack vectors against, for instance, electrical substations using the IEC 61850 protocols. There are basically five main attack vectors which we have to differentiate here. The first and probably the most common one is a spillover attack where an attacker compromises the IT part of the infrastructure, so the regular office IT, and then using stolen credentials, basically moving laterally into the OT infrastructure and being able to gain access to the OT infrastructure. The second one is a compromise using laptops that are carried into the infrastructure itself. Here we have to differentiate. Uh, these can be laptops that are used for testing purposes. Remember, many utilities are today planning and starting to build their IEC 61850-based electrical substations, and so there's a lot of testing going on. And during regular operations, uh, you may have outsourced companies, service companies, providing regular service to the electrical substations, and via the service, there may be laptops carried into the substation. And these systems, of course, can be compromised. Here we have to keep in mind things like supply chain attacks. If we, th if, if we think back at the SolarWinds incident in 2020, just as an example for a supply chain, for a recent supply chain attack, uh, the uh, uh, SolarWinds, a vendor of network management systems, was compromised. And via the legitimate software updates, a backdoor was implemented into the SolarWinds software. And many companies, many utilities worldwide were affected by this. So this is a real danger. And if we now think again about our laptop problem with laptops using testing software or laptops being used for maintenance purposes, we have again a supply chain problem because these laptops may be compromised. So either the testing software or some software on the laptop itself, including the firmware or the operating system may be compromised. And it's very difficult to defend against supply chain attacks because they happen outside of your jurisdiction, outside of your domain. And the affected devices are usually allowed to enter your infrastructure without further testing. So a firewall, no matter how up-to-date and how current, doesn't help protect against these attacks. And here it's really important uh, to have an OT monitoring inside your critical substations in this case, in place to detect any unusual behavior which may arise from a supply chain attack or for, from unauthorized activities inside of these potentially compromised uh, segments of your network.